We are on the quest to find the best designed custom level in Polybridge. We have found some very good custom levels to date, and I'm hoping that uh, can continue. Well, this one's caught my eye. The we need to go deeper, because I mean, look at this mess. There is so much going on. This has to be good, right? Help the dune buggy navigate through the dangerous cave and reach the gemstones at the bottom. Avoid the stalagmites and stalactites in the way, or use them to help reach the goal for $50,000. Boys actually got a stalactites and stalagmites. All right, so we gotta go down, then up, then really far down, and then up again, actually. All right, well, this looks like quite the journey. Let me just first see what this cave looks like. Yo! <laughs> this is where it naturally falls. Oh, Vlad the Impaler sends its regards. This is this is a cool looking cave. He's got hold on, little gemstones down here. And then he's even got grass up here and dirt down here. Like he put some effort to this. The theming's nice. So let's look at the speed. It's pretty fast. I mean, obviously it's gotta go from here to up here. So let's try to build a bridge then. Let's see if this little jump I've created will work. Way to drive on the road. Okay, so not what you wanna see. I wanna do a little thing to keep this guy from jumping off. Yeah, like that. Like a little spring catch that she puts him on the road, but it's gotta let go. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking, so I have to compress it more instead of stretching it more. All right, so let's build more. If you couldn't tell, I'm trying to have it jump up, but it seems that I just need to have it, the slope be not so steep, so we can just ease its way up there. Ah, that's good, almost good enough. I think that, yeah, that's good enough. There we go. It does start moving again, right? Okay, it does. It even donks off that, and <laughs> it kills itself here. Uh, I, I like how this is designed, how it just immediately impales itself if you just let it fall. Right, so let me watch this donk once more, just so I can get an idea of how I maybe want to stop it. So it donks here. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a true sort of guide. I would like it to fall though. So I have right now just a little tiny little stop here. It's nothing special, but I'm hoping that this will maybe impact it a little bit. Ah, oh, a little bit. Oh, it almost even hits the star. Honestly, I think I might just try to have it fall onto the star. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I like that. If I get to fall on the star, then do some sort of spring catch on the bottom and have it drive, that just might be enough. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We do this here, and you know what? I think I will, will even go ahead and reinforce these roads. And then how it's gonna go is I'm gonna spring my way up to here. That's right, we're gonna have a little spring catch from above. Well, it, uh, we had a little break there. That's fine. I might even not need these roads here. I might be able to just get away with a little spring catch here and have it be able to drive up. Come on. Oh, please. Ah, that's my best one yet, but it doesn't work. I could do something like this and stretch this a bit. Try to encourage it to drive over. Oh, that's bad. I was worried about that. All right, I'm gonna change up this section. I'm gonna create a bunch of compressed springs instead. Saves a little bit money and maybe it'll let me create a bit of a bridge. So like this is gonna slow it down. Then what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna have a, a normal little bridge slash ramp thing right here. That's gonna hold it up and it's gonna drive up and over this. Okay, there we go. That's exactly where I want it to hang. So it's just gonna be, it's just gonna work to serve to slow down the car. If it slows down, then falls onto the bottom ramp, I'm happy. <gasps> no, that was so close. That did exactly what I wanted it to. No joke. Let's maybe add a little spring here. That is exactly what I was going for. I almost want to have like another wall brace here. All right, we're getting this real soon. Okay. Okay. Hey, we've done it. That's it. That's the bridge. We went deeper. The spring catch. Cool level. 
it was, you know, it was neat. I love the theming. The theming was my favorite part about this. The process of doing this it involved a lot of interesting contraptions. Not at all a bridge, but that's fine. I, you know, the theming makes it more of a puzzle. It's just fun. Just the only thing I'm confused about is why does it stop for so long here? This, this is unnecessary. I hate to be a negative Nancy about it. And I'm probably being really picky because the rest of this is cool. But what the fuck is up with that stop sign? It's not even like there's... I mean, there's probably a sub that comes, but you can't even see it, really. I don't know. I, I like the theme. Let's see what other people did. Uh, honestly, a similar idea. Except they obviously shaved money and had a bunch more springs down here. Yeah, so nothing too different. Cool. Uh, let's see what else there is. Car-supported drawbridge? This is such a big bridge, but unfortunately, the only supports you have seem to be a pillar of cars. Not only that, you must make way for a blimp? This is an abomination. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so he's got little things holding in the car. So I imagine they do hold in place like Tetris. So we have to build a drawbridge that rests on these? Oh my god. So you've heard of the rock support. Now let me introduce to you the stacked Tetris tower of car support. This is incredible. So we're gonna do a little split joint here and then I think I'll just do a little under over. We get a lot of money for this and the dump truck is 14 polygrams. Sick. This is actually pretty neat. And then we'll do a little arch going over. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna get it to balance on the cars. I mean, this is really close to the cars themselves. Oh, I also just realized that normal joints can pass through cars. So if I wanna have it balance on the cars, I have to use roads. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> can roads pass through these? They can. Wait, why do I need a hydraulic here? There's no checkpoint in the middle. I feel like a hydraulic would actually make this more difficult. So I think I'm just gonna do an arched road because then I can actually use the vehicles because I was so close to the vehicles before, it just wasn't gonna do anything for me. So let's, let's build over like this. And now we can actually use these as pillars. So let's build down, I suppose, and then have reinforced roads be at the bottom like this. So I have another reinforced road coming out of here. And then one more reinforced road over here, I think. It's strange, but it might just work. All right, so that's kind of my support. And also same, wouldn't it be nice over here? Oh, there we go, very nice. And I think I'll actually just delete half this anyway, since I'm gonna mirror it. I think I still will do an overarch here. I might even need to make these stabilizers into steel uh, with how this plays out. And the bridge starts, it'll drop and shatter. Actually, I'm not sure. No, it holds. Yo, okay. So this is a pretty good start, all things considered. I, th I think I'll just do steel in the middle. Oh, uh, it's actually not symmetrical. Little annoying, but that's fine. I can deal with it. Just do a similar idea over here and we're set. Might just get rid of this though. Might just have this be a double supporter. Honestly, this doesn't seem that bad. Now, oh, okay. That wasn't that good. Okay, I can do this kind of support. Maybe just another one to here could work. Okay, that's a little bit better. You know, it sags and then we're kind of just screwed. Oh, maybe that's what the springs are for. I think I actually will even do springs in the middle. That's why we're given exactly two springs to prepare for this moment. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's raise this a little higher. I think I'll take these springs and I'll stretch them. And then move this up and then take it, flip it. Uh, let's down some water before running it again. This has promise. Oh, yeah. We need a chuggy moat. Uh, honestly, it's a good idea. All right, so it stands now with the springs. The only thing is this middle section is wobbly as fuck. But we do dodge the blimp. Scratch that. We do not dodge the blimp. It's a lot better, I think. Just so wobbly up there. I gotta do something about that. And driving. Ooh, the dump truck is kind of fine. It's just going through various levels of stress, but all things considered, my sport's good. Just the middle is probably gonna fail me. Oh, yeah, the middle caused problems over here. Hold on, does this support it better? Actually, yes, that does support it better. All right, let's see if that translates into a working bridge. Yo, a half budget, by the way, casually making it to half budget. I, I love the concept, the giant death pillar of Tetrisly stacked cars. 
It's pretty sick. And yeah, it's pretty fun to make a long bridge over that. I think this even looks good. The budget is uh, probably not the point of the level at all. I don't think the budget is the point of the level at all, but this, this is neat. This is very creative. I It could be fun to see the vehicles themselves used for theming in the future. All right, let's go on to the next level. Well, how about bridge on a truck? Put a bridge on a truck to get the Model T onto the platform with a $12,000 budget. Okay, okay, I can get behind this. So we have, to have, we have to transport this and then we have to make a little tiny bridge on top of here to get B up to this platform. That's not bad. This, this looks pretty neat, so let's, let's give it a run. Uh, the length is not a normal length. Let's see if I can average this out. Does this reach? No, but I think I will do wood only. All right, so it's about symmetrical. Let's just make sure this can drive across. Oh, with ease. Oh, the back does weigh more than the front, but again, that's not a problem. It's a solid bridge, but now we have to actually add additional weight. When we add our bridge that's on here, the vehicle's gonna be heavier, so this might not be enough. But let's, let's do it now, let's build our bridge. How exactly do I wanna get this started now? Cause how am I gonna guarantee that it drives on the road? You know what I'm saying? So I'll do a flat road here. And this is normal speed and everything. It's acceleration is ass, but it's horsepower is pretty okay. Um, so I'm gonna push this up here. And roads do naturally rest on top of trucks. So I think I will make a point to try to lock this in. This might be enough. Let's test this out. See how if this gets me anywhere. Now watch this stress. It is way more than before. Getting up to the high 80s in percentage. And now, oh, for the moment of truth. Ooh. Well, that's a shame. Let's rebuild this bridge. So this is gonna be way shorter and this is going to be a way, much more shallow slope, like so. I think I'll even add another joint here just to try to keep this all in one place. This could be better. We did add another joint with more weight, but this should overall be good. Malty doesn't have too much power, but it should have enough power. Come on. Oh, come on. It does have enough power to make it over that bump. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very unique. Relatively easy. Not complaining at all about that. I think this, this, this is just solid. This was just a nice little small bridge. Let's see if other people beat this. It's about the same idea. Although he didn't start with a flat road, he actually started with an, a ramped road, and that worked too. Not bad, we've had some pretty solid levels today. Some solid, solid levels. Okay, more stacked cars. <laughs> now we're talking. The autoplay version is also available. Now we're talking. This is a vehicle. So the challenge of this is that there's just a lot more weight, so you have to make a heavier bridge. Then also, the weight isn't equally distributed, so you have to make sure the bridge can withstand bursts of weight at times. I have $100,000 in a short gap, so I can't see it being too difficult, but it should be fun to just watch them go across. So let's um, let's reinforce the roads, and I think I will just do an all steel arch. I mean, we're just gonna do our very simple design for now, and then if it breaks, we'll redo it. <gasps> oh, so there's a second challenge to this bridge. I see why these have joints now. I assume we're supposed to cable attach these so it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, but that moves. Oh, good God. Okay, so we're gonna have to make like another attachment point down here and then to here. Ooh. All right, then we got some more of these. So let's really attach them. Okay. <gasps> They're in. Don't fail me now. <gasps> oh. What the hell was that? Did it hit a bump or something? What happened? Oh, that's getting smushed. So I think that that thing, it pushed up and then it destroyed itself. I have a feeling that it could just be fixed if we do like a higher arch. Let's try to muscle it before we see if we can do anything about that little jump. Look at this, down it goes. It's not even actually the wheels, it's just the cartridge. <gasps> oh, I thought that was it. The cable broke. When a cable snaps, you know you're in for a bad time. I could try to have this, you know, hold up a little better, but I think I'm gonna see if I can do something about this. Let's just add more cables. Wait, no, that doesn't work though. That doesn't work, that's not going to work because it's not tight as taut as the first one. <laughs> you see that shit? 
It's called reverse psychology. You keep saying it's not gonna work and then it magically works. Without breaks, mind you. A cool and calm 99.7% stress. Let's go. Let's go. Not bad at all. It's all held together. They're leaning back like the Tower of Pisa, but it balances itself, writes itself, does not destroy the bridge, and it's just strong. And I'm sure that you could use this mechanism in other levels. It's just, it's just neat. Let's, uh, did I get cheapest? No, I didn't get cheapest. It didn't even get second cheapest. So this is the cheapest. Dude did wood rope. By God. Very cool. I'm happy about it. Nice level.